Hey guys, so we just took a look at AGL LRU Igoku in the previous video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the other sixth year anniversary main headlining unit, which is the Super Saiyan God SS Evolved Vegeta, or as you guys might know him, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, this guy is the counterpart to the LR AGL UI Goku. Um, pretty good. Uh, they're pretty similar units in terms of what they're doing. So if you guys have not seen that AGL LR UI Goku video, I recommend you go check that out because I'm not going to go as in depth with this video because we already talked about a lot of the same mechanics in the previous video. But uh, we will start going over what this guy does here. So leader skill is the power of revival or reps of universe 7, category key plus 3 and 170% stats across the board. So again, before we go forward, we'll take a look at the actual power of revival category. Let me actually pull that up. It was the wrong one there. Uh, so power of revival, let's go. Um, so compared to the UI Goku's leader skill, miraculous, uh, what is it, miraculous awakening? I think this power revival category actually is a little bit better. Um, so I think the Vegeta has the edge when it uh, in terms of leader skill, and we could take a look at why in a second. Let's pull this up. So you can really mix and match a lot of these um, units in here with, with double leader skill, right? You have. Um, Blue Goku and Vegeta, you have, actually this UI Goku, yeah, this UI Goku is on both, on both teams. Um, you have this Gogeta, who's not obviously not on Global yet, but he'll be out eventually. He's actually on the Miraculous Awakening category, or, or, uh, for Power of Rival, sorry, I get them mixed up. Uh, he's on the Power of Rival category. Uh, we have LR Jiren, who's not on the Reps of Universe 7 team. So, I mean, you can mix and match these uh, leaders, or these categories under the same leader skill to work out pretty well for you, but I think in terms of the uh, breadth of the units that are available on this category, I do like this better than the Miraculous Awakening category that the UI Goku leads. Pretty good, though. Um, you have Tech Holden Gohan, you have LR Jiren, you have, um, again, uh, this to Gogeta could be okay. Um, the Gogeta, whenever he comes out on Global, I assume it's going to be like December. The Blue Boys, the Year 3 Gogeta. Um, you have Super Gojita, the Int one. You have Kid Goku. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of good units here, so. Leader skills looking pretty good. Um, the same sort of effects on both Super Attacks as the LR AGL UI Goku. Um, it gets a high chance of performing critical hit for one turn. Again, that does stack. So if you get the AT key Super off, you get a 50% chance to clear with that 18 key Super Attack. If you get an additional, that additional Super Attack, which is the 12 key Super Attack, has a 100% chance to perform a critical hit, so. In terms of his potential system, I would definitely recommend going additionals over crit. Just because he already has all the crits that he needs built into a super attack effect. So, his passive, power to keep a promise. Attack and defense plus 150% at start of turn. Reduces damage received by 10% plus an additional damage reduction of 10% up to 30% with each attack received within the same turn. So this only lasts for one turn. So the, the way that this works is you start off with a baseline of 10% damage reduction. And every time you get hit, it climbs up by 10% up to 30%. So this is up to 30% for the additional effect. So in total, you can get up to a maximum of 40% damage reduction, um, which means you need to be hit three times to get the 30% plus the baseline of 10%. Um, so if you notice, if you guys have seen gameplay of this Vegeta, he will take more damage the first hit he's hit with, and then progressively it will go down because he's gaining that damage reduction. Then he gets key plus one up to five with each attack performed. So this is really the first major difference, I would say. Um, well, it's, 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 it's the same mechanic technically as UI Goku, but UI Goku gains key whenever he evades attacks. This Vegeta gains key whenever he attacks. I would say the clear advantage in this department goes to the UI Goku just because you have a much better chance of evading a lot more attacks in one turn than attacking multiple times in one turn. I mean, the most this guy can attack us three times, right? He gets the medium chance from additional right here. Same thing the AGL UI Goku has. And then he can get his additional from the hidden potential systems. So that's three attacks. That's the maximum he can get in one turn. You're not even guaranteed to get three in one turn. With UI Goku, you're probably going to get hit two to four times per turn on average, potentially more depending on the event you're taking on. So. I think Goku has more chances to gain the additional key from his passive than Vegeta does, so I think I would give Goku the advantage in terms of this key mechanic that they have. Um, and then when HP is 50% or less upon entering attacking turn after the character receives an attack seven times, if the character or any ally attacking in the same turn receives a KO attack, revives and recovers 7% HP. So this is the same exact uh, mechanic that we saw with Asia UI Goku. It's the revival mechanic again. We have not seen this return um, on any unit that has come out 
since this Vegeta came out on JP. So it's a pretty rare mechanic. Um, it's not really something that they've really pushed super hard uh, up until now, but a very, very powerful effect. Now, the one difference between this Vegeta and the Goku is that Goku needs to be hit three times to activate his revival, whereas Vegeta needs to be hit seven times. So based off of that, you would assume that Goku's revival is actually um, easier to get than Vegeta's, whereas in reality, Vegeta's is actually easier because of the fact that UI Goku has a 70% chance to dodge. He's going to be hit a lot less frequently than Vegeta is. Vegeta's pretty much never going to dodge. I mean, you'll have the 5% dodge from the hit potential system, so we'll have like, um, you know, what is that, like a, a 1 in 20 chance of dodging every time he gets hit. But you're basically going to get every t every single time this guy gets attacked. So I think it's going to actually be easier to get this guy's revival mechanic than it is for, to get Goku's revival mechanic, unless you just get very unlucky with UI Goku's dodging. So, again, hit seven times, enter the turn with 50% or less health, and then that will activate the revival mechanic. And then if you die within that same turn, where this Vegeta is on rotation, you'll activate the revival and you'll, you know, it'll roll over to the next uh, rotation for you. So... Pretty powerful effect. Um, it, it's pretty similar to UI Goku, just you, you, instead of dodging, he has damage reduction, and the key mechanic uh, is him attacking instead of dodging, and then a bit different uh, conditions for the revival to activate there. Active skill is the final explosion. Uh, it causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. So this is an AoE active skill. I think this is the only AoE active skill in the game. Unless I'm forgetting about one, but uh, for, to my knowledge, to what I can remember right now off the top of my head, this is the only AOE active skill ultimate attack. Um, same exact conditions that uh, Goku has, so it can be activated when HP is 50% uh, or more, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only. Um, the one thing to note though about this is this actually does do a little bit less damage than UI Goku's active skill just because it is an AOE. Again, this doesn't have... Let me actually see if I can pull up... Um, UI Goku real quick just so I can show you guys why it's not going to hit as hard. So UI Goku, if you, if you can notice, greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. So ultimate damage is more than Mega Colossal. That's just straight up. Ultimate damage is more, does more damage. Goku also has a greatly raises attack temporarily. Vegeta does not have that either. So on a single target enemy, this Goku is going to be hitting harder with his active skill, whereas with Vegeta, he will not hit as hard to a single enemy, but he's going to be hitting all enemies. So if you can get this off against like Super Battle Road, where there's like four or five enemies there, it's going to be pretty devastating. But keep in mind, you have to wait till the fourth turn at least. You have to be above 50% health for it to activate. So uh, that is the restriction for that. His links are Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Godly Power, Prepare for Battle, Turn of Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So pretty good link set. And then I would say the main value of this unit is the amount of category teams he's a part of. Take a look at this list. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, Universe Rebel Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Raps of Universe 7, Vegeta Family, Sibling Bond, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, Miraculous Awakening, Power Revival, and Gifted Warriors. What is that, 13 categories? <laughs> he's on 13 category teams. So if you compare, the, again, compare this to Goku, Let's go take a look at Goku. Go here. So Vegeta's on what? 13 categories. Goku's on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is a lot still. Um, I would say that this Goku's on a lot of categories, but 13, that's crazy. So the amount of value that Vegeta's bringing to the table is uh, pretty exceptional. So that um, sort of wraps up the initial look at what he can do. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention as well is he brings a new sort of mechanic to the game that UI Goku does not have, which is the costume change mechanic. When you use his active skill, um, the final explosion, and the enemy survives, he will actually change costumes. Uh, he will remove his, I guess, shirt there, or his battle armor, or whatever you want to call it, because that's what happened in the movie, or not the movie, the uh, anime. Um, he used the final explosion against Topo. He, you know, knocked Topo off the edge. He eliminated Topo from the uh, the tournament, and then, you know, the the force of the explosion was so great that he lost his battle armor and his shirt. So that's sort of what they're trying to go for, which is pretty cool. Um, doesn't really change much in terms of what the unit can do, but it's just aesthetically uh, one thing that they're introducing to the game with the costume change mechanic here. So let's take a look at some of his teams that he's on. Um, again, he's on so many teams that I'm not going to be taking a look at every single team because it would just take forever, but. Some of the more uh, prominent and uh, noteworthy teams here in Realm of Gods. I think he actually does work pretty well with um, 
I mean, obviously LRUI Goku, he works real well with. And the one thing you'll notice from his uh, Link set is you would assume that Super Saiyan God SS Evolve Vegeta would have the Super Saiyan Link, but uh, he actually does not have a Super Saiyan Link. And I think the reason why they did this, let me pull up UI Goku once again here, is because they wanted him to specifically work well with the UI Goku that's coming out as well alongside him. Typically what they like to do for the anniversaries in this game, uh, barring the first anniversaries, they like to have the two units that are coming out work well together. Because they want you to summon on both banners, right? That's just the way that the game works. So, hit Vegeta, if Vegeta had Super Saiyan, that's a, that's, a, that's a link that he would not share with UI Goku here. I think what they ended up doing is they ended up removing Super Saiyan for godly power, which um, is fine if you want to use him alongside UI Goku. He has godly power obviously here, so that could work. But the, the problem with that is them removing Super Saiyan for godly power means that he will not link up as well with units that are not a part of like the turn of power, Dragon Ball Super Era, God type of units. Like if you're just looking at like, you know, Vegeta family and stuff like that, there's a lot of Super Saiyan based units on there, you know, Pure Saiyan, stuff like that, that all have Super Saiyan because <laughs> they're all Super Saiyan. So their, their removal of the Super Saiyan Link, I think, actually does hurt him at the end of the day more so than help him. But it does help him in the in the, uh, in the the way that it makes him better with, specifically, this UI Goku next to him. Uh, but again, uh, I think Realm of Gods, this UI Goku, they do share a lot of links together. Again, their main key links, Prepare for Battle and Turn of Power, they both share those. Um, LR Jiren actually does work pretty well with him. Um, they both share Turn of Power. Again, any sort of like Universe Survival Saga... Um, wraps of Universe 7 team gonna work well with this guy because of the fact that they're all gonna have the turn of power link which is three key <laughs> so pretty pretty big uh, pretty big deal for that but Jiren right godly power fierce battle legendary power turn of power that's four links gonna be pretty good with him uh, blue Kaioken I mean again blue Kaioken only has uh, over to flash in terms of the three main key links shocking speed prayer for over to flash he only has over to flash so um, they're only really going to share turn of power, but I think that's enough, really. The one thing I would say when I'm directly comparing Vegeta to Goku is we talked about the key mechanic not being as good for Vegeta. I feel like that on top of the fact that Vegeta does not have shocking speed in addition to prepare for battle, which is what the UI Goku has, right? UI Goku has shocking speed and prepare for battle and turn of power. That will let this Goku have way less key issues than this Vegeta will. I mean, Prayer for Battle obviously is really good, so is Turn of Power. I think Royal Lineage being his other key link might be a pseudo problem, just because you take a look at like a lot of the characters that he wants to be alongside on these like Realm of Gods, Universe Survival Saga-esque teams, and a lot of them have you know, a combination of Prayer for Battle, Turn of Power, and Shocking Speed, and not a lot of Royal Lineage floating around. So I would say in terms of the key, um, UI Goku is going to have less problems. One other thing I do want to talk about is Vados. Vados is a unit that supports up to four categories. Universe 6, Realm of Gods, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master Disciple. The one upside, or one of the upsides to this Vegeta being on so many different categories is he's going to fulfill a lot of those categories. Um, he is on Realm of Gods, he's on Siblings Bond, and he is on Bond of Master and Disciple. So this Vados is going to be giving Vegeta 60% attack and defense. So I would say if you're building a team that's centered around this Vegeta, um, let's say, I don't know, again, when UI Goku gets his EZA, this int one, you use the guy as a leader, you have him linked up alongside Vegeta, again, they have shot, uh, prepare for battle and um, turn of power together, so they're going to be sharing five key, they're both sharing uh, godly power, uh, prepare for battle, fierce battle, so they're sharing four links, that, that, that's good. Um, I would just throw Vados on that team, uh, have her float around. Again, 60% attack and defense is going to be pretty powerful with this Vegeta. He's going to be taking no damage, his defense is going to be through the roof, and he's going to be hitting super hard, he's going to be critting like crazy. I mean, he's going to be really, really powerful alongside Vados there. So, again, and then also Realm of Gods, of course, has the tons of uh, support type units. You have this uh, Supreme Power of Time floating around, you have uh, Gowasu and Zamasu floating around, you have the AGL West Kai floating around, so there's a lot going on in terms of support that are able to tie this team together very, very well. Universe Survival Saga is pretty much the same thing that I just talked about. LR Jiren works pretty well with him. Blue Kao Ken can work. Um, Kale and Khalifa, again, they do have uh, Prepared for Battle and Turner of Power, so that's five key they share with each other. Um, Goku and Frieza. 
I think is the one unit I would say that really wants to be alongside UI Goku over Vegeta because of the fact that they don't have perfect battle, they only have turn of power, and then Goku can help them out more with having shocking speed there. So, unfortunately, uh, I would say that Goku is a much better partner for Goku and Frieza than Vegeta is. But, um, I mean, you can have 17 sort of floating around to tie the team together. So, I mean, he can work well on, the, on this team, obviously, as well. The Vegeta family, the one unit I think you really want to look at when you look at Vegeta family, uh, sort of like the new age of Vegeta family, is the uh, GT Vegeta, who would definitely work pretty well with this new uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta because of the links that they have with Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Perfect Battle and Fierce Battle, so they have four links together, which is pretty good. Keep in mind that uh, Royal Lineage at link level 10 is two key instead of one key. So they're going to be sharing um, four key, right, with Perfect Battle and Royal Lineage together. So this Vegeta, being an orb changer, is um, going to be helping in the regard where he's sharing not only four key from Lynx, but he's providing a ton of orbs, this Vegeta as well, rainbow orbs. So I think that's going to help him a lot. Um, I think prior, because remember, JP did not have access to this Vegeta when uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta came out for the Vegeta family team. I would actually argue that without this guy on the team, he doesn't really fit that well on the Vegeta family team. Um, in terms of like powerful LRs that are on this team, you really only have this guy, where is he? This guy right here, who I would argue doesn't really link too well with the Evolution Blue Vegeta. I mean, they share Royal Lineage, which is too key. Super Saiyan doesn't have that. Prodigies, yes. And First Battle Legendary Power. So that's, that's four links, which is not bad. But this guy is like one of the more key hungry LR units in the game. And I would also say that alongside this guy, this guy would also be pretty key hungry because he's not getting as much key as he would like from Lynx. So I feel like that rotation could definitely suffer because they're not getting as much key as you would want them to have. Um, so the, the fact that you now have this guy to help out the team um, is going to help a lot and make a big difference for the Vegeta family team. Um, and then we have the Siblings Bond team. I was actually looking through the list and I was pretty unimpressed with Vegeta's role on this team. I mean, I guess if you want to technically put him again alongside this guy, you can. I mean, this guy's not a terrible option for like Super Battle Road. It's not great. Um, he's easy aid. He specifically uh, gives defense to Realm of Gods super class allies, which obviously this guy is. So it would help him defensively to have him alongside this guy. Uh, does extra well against extreme class enemies. Um, and I believe in terms of links, uh, they share Prodigies, Royal Lineage, for, yes, they share four links. Um, again, they're going to be sharing two key, for, no, they actually do share four key. So that, that is actually pretty good. This guy could work well with them. Um, it's just, uh, this guy himself is, is not, I would say, spectacular. Um, so, so again, something about, other than that, there really isn't that much to mention. Um, this guy, I, I guess if you want to run the Vegeta family team lead of that GT Vegeta, um, this guy would obviously be included on the team who buffs Vegeta family in terms of their support buff, so definitely a nice unit to throw alongside him there. Worthy Rivals, a similar uh, thing to what we just talked about. This is the leader of the team, really. I mean, I guess you want to run Piccolo, you can, but I think this guy is pretty much the go-to leader for the team at this point. He gives four key from his leader skill, so that can alleviate a lot of the key issues. Um, only a 150 leader skill, though, so keep that in mind. Um, and I don't really think this guy would link super well or work super well alongside the Evolution Blue Vegeta because you're really going to have to pick and choose which one you want to give key to. We can't really give both. Um, I just don't think you're going to have that liberty to do that. Pycon is here, which can help alleviate the key issues a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it on this team. I wouldn't really suggest running this team with the LR Vegeta because we just need a better leader. Um, that's pretty much where we're at with this so worthy rival team. Uh, Bond of Master and Disciple. Uh, if Ados is like the main unit, I would say that you want to really work around with Evolution Blue Vegeta just to help give him that extra attack and defense. Guas and Zamasu could help with the key. This kid Gohan could be a good floater too, just to help him because of the uh, fact that he's super uh, int there. Um, but in terms of like a mainstay linking partner, again, you don't really have much to work with. I mean, this guy could be okay. He's an orb changer. He has prepare for battle. And that's it. That's his only key link. But I mean, they're going to be orb changing every turn. 
I don't really know if this team has that many good options in terms of a linking partner. Besides this guy, I guess, again, if you want to look at him again. Um, you can throw him next to him. I mean, this guy's old, but he will link pretty well. Turn of Power, Fierce Battle, Pair for Battle, um, Royal Lineage, and Prodigy. So that's five links. So that's pretty good. Uh, Blue Kyle Ken could work. This guy probably wouldn't work super well. It's only Pair for Battle. Yeah. Um, and then Gifted Warriors. The main thing I do want to make sure that I mention about this team specifically is the fact that, remember, these guys are not only leading, leading the Gifted Warrior team, they're also leading Kamehameha. Um, I believe this leader skill, the combination of this leader skill, uh, it actually allows you to run every single Dokkan Fest LR in the game. Um, I'm not saying that's a good team, but uh, you can make that work with this leader skill. Actually, not too bad with Vegeta. I mean, it's not spectacular. They share, uh, what is this, Prodigies, Perfect Battle and Fierce Battle, so it's three links. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, the one thing I would say is that I think the GT Vegeta is on here, is he not? Let me see if I could find him. He should be. I see this guy on here. Here he is. Yeah, right here. So, again, this is probably the unit you want to put him alongside. They do share four key, in addition to this guy being an orb changer. So, if you're running the Gifted Warrior team, maybe float the Goten and Trunks. Um, have these guys, or have this guy alongside the uh, GT Vegeta that we just looked at right here. That could be a decent rotation here. Um, but in terms of anything else, again, this guy, again, I'm not a huge fan of him being alongside Evolution Blue Vegeta because of the key problems. Um, I mean, you guys get the idea, right? This guy's good on a lot of these teams. It's just the fact that he only has the one key link per battle. He, I mean, he's going to have turn of power, but when you're talking about a team that isn't Universe Survival Saga centric, he's only key links per battle, and that's kind of going to hurt him a little bit when you compare him to UI Goku, because UI Goku has both shocking speed and prepare for battle, so he has more flexibility uh, in what he's able to do, I think. Um, Royal Lineage only helps so much, right? It's only Vegeta's and Trunks's. So if you want to use this guy alongside units that aren't Vegeta and Trunks, that are in the turn of power. I mean, it's only going to be perfect battle. So I would say that that's the major difference that I'm seeing from this guy's kit in terms of what he's able to bring to the table when you compare him directly to his counterpart with UI Goku. But that is pretty much going to be it for this Vegeta. Um, again, very, very powerful card. Again, he's on so many category teams. Again, that's the major thing that I think this guy brings to the table, his, his value. He's on a ridiculous amount of teams. His leader skill is really powerful. Um, and just a very solid unit on any team. He's going to be really, really, really good defensively, really powerful offensively. He has very little flaws other than the potential key issues, which we just talked about. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.